Hi, my name's Tom and um, I work at Fibbersy Park Children's Centre in Woolen Hall. And a bit of advice for dads would be not to shy away from children's centres because there is also uh, things that we can offer for you. I do a group once a month on a Saturday. Uh, another thing that we do at our children's centre is meet up for bacon sandwiches at the dads group we, uh, at our local football club. It's bacon sandwiches and coffees and uh, there's a range of different activities that we do. We've had an animal man in and he brought lizards, snakes uh, and lots of nice animals for the children to look at and interact with. My top tips for being a dad is enjoy it. Um, it's going to last for a long time. You're here now and enjoy the journey. That, that You'll have good times, you'll have bad times, like all of us. We all experience that. Try and stay patient. The best thing you can give your child is time. I think we live in a society where we feel that we have to spend lots of money, but as long as you, your child is fed and clothed, your quality of time is the best gift that you can give them. Share it with your other family. Um, there'll, there'll be times where you'll need a break, there'll be times where your partner would need a break and just respect each other. But more importantly, enjoy it. That's it. <laughs> okay. Um, some of my top tips for dads is uh, don't be afraid to ask for help. It's always difficult when you have a, a baby and uh, especially your first one, you don't know what to expect and even being a professional, um, nothing ever pre prepares you for having your own and no one tells you about the sleepless nights you're going to get. No one tells you about all the dirty nappies you're going to have to change or the arguments that it causes between you and your partner and who has to get out of bed and who doesn't have to get out of bed and whose turn it is to go and feed the baby and no one really shows you how to um, to prepare and make the bottles and the feeds. It's a bit, a lot of it's trial and error um, but one of my top tips is just, you know, work through it with your partner, uh, have that patience and uh, just support one another and ask for help if you need it and that's the beauty of some of the local shoe start programs they're there to help you and support you with that um, they're not just for mums they are for dads as well and uh, engaging them because they can give you a lot of tips and, and advice really and where to go for support not just around support with your baby but things around support with your benefits um, if you're entitled to it or support into employment or training and there's lots of different uh, options and opportunities that are available for you out there. You just need to be able to have the confidence to just uh, go forward and, uh, and ask for their help. Um, that's my uh, top tip for you today. One thing about being a young dad is it's a hard job. Being a parent is a hard job. Do not think at any point that you've got to be perfect. Being good enough is good enough. And if you don't know something, ask somebody that does. Um, I'm Ashley in Portman. I used to run a young parents group at NACRO. Um, so it took, I now work at Fibbersy Park Children's Centre in Willanar. Um, it took me a while to get the dads involved, but I think once they got, started coming, they really enjoyed it and got to know other dads, not realising there was that many in the area. So my tip would be um, for young dads to just get involved with the services around you. So take advantage of what you can do. Um, you can go to children's centres. It's not just for young mums, um, youth centres and um, enjoy um, with things that you can go to with your children. Unfortunately, children do not come with instructions. Sometimes it may feel like they have Duracell batteries that just never run out. Remember your network of family, friends, support workers, health visitors and schools. All of these people are there to support you through these times. And um, if you do feel um, sort of cornered or trapped, the position you find yourself in then there's always a lot of people and a lot of services and agencies that you can go and talk to for help. <laughs> Hi I'm Helen, I'm a family support worker at Fibbersy Park Children's Centre. My advice for young dads um, would just be confident. Um, you're first time parents as well as mums um, so don't be afraid to ask for help and get involved. Everyone wants you to get involved and um, come along to children's centres and, and see what they've got on got to offer a lot of places do dads groups now and then there's um, a fantastic thing called young dads tv that you can get involved with so hopefully see you soon thanks